啦啦。Look at all the doubloons that we have, and we have literally just purchased this building as well. I can't, I, I just, I can't believe it. So first of all, we're going to kick our. Oh, actually, no. First of all, let's have a quick look at the doctors. Who have we got here? Uh, no, we hit more. We just killed our first patient. Did you hear that? Boo! We've killed somebody. So there's that six grand gone. Right. We are going to move our research department. Um, let's move it to here. We want it to be nice and big. That's probably big enough. Um, the thing about our research department though um, staff room no do you know what staff room and training area are more important to keep together so actually we're just going to put this back uh, as much as I really do want to do that we are just going to stick this back uh, for the moment And you, where are you? Um, oh, he's actually quite. He's actually quite tired. So what we're going to do? We'll leave that one there for the minute. Uh, I can't cure boldness. So what we're going to do? All right, facilities, facilities, staff room. So a nice big staff room. Knowing that I want the training room right next door. Um, I can't imagine we're ever going to want people to come through this door either. So I might be inclined to block it like that um, and come straight across this whole area. It's a bit small. Because only staff will come here, right? Only staff are going to come into this area. So I'm thinking we're going to put the door here. And not only that, but it allows us to put windows all the way along here. And I just love windows in rooms. There we go. Um, so let's have a look. What can we buy? I'd like a couple of pool tables. We'd like four video games. We'll buy a couple of televisions. We'll buy three more sofas. Let's let's put those down first. Um, so we'll put our pool tables one, and two, and then uh, how many televisions? We've got two. Um, so a little chatting area. Staff announcement. Academic warning. Doctor we'll do that. In GP's so we've got an epidemic warning has just come in. Which we kinda need to deal with. Then we're going to put three radiators in, one fire extinguisher, and we'll go four plants. Um so we'll put a radiator there, a radiator down here, a radiator somewhere in the middle, and then we want plants to keep the place pretty. There. New staff room. So epidemic. Your doctors have discovered a contagious strain of third degree sideburns. Um, so we don't want to pay that fine at all. So we're going to attempt to cover it up. I don't I think that's a psychiatry one. Difficult difficult to um, clean up very difficult what's this oh he's just awarded us four grand so how many people do we have that has this oh my god uh, I don't see this happening to be honest first of all nurses have to race around and vaccinate everybody so we're saying vaccinate all these people they're all these people that I've I've done a squidgy on they're all contagious and being in close proximity to others means they'll spread it further so this little squidgy means I would like a nurse to run around and um, cure them all. So Barson, who I don't really like very much as a nurse, we're going to employ her to get her started on trying to vaccinate all these people because we we're in a bit of a, an emergency situation. We have a really good um, doctor here. Unfortunately, we don't have a decent trainer for him. We don't have a decent trainer for him, um, which is a real shame. Um, we're still working on that. This red arrow means that a nurse is on her way to vaccinate him. 
once they've not vaccinated him, uh, well, I suppose it's sort of like vaccinate. It means that they'll no longer be contagious. All right. Once she's done that, which is why we've employed another another nurse just to try and help uh, along. Um, then they all need to be cured before the timer runs out. Now, this is all psychiatry. They're all going to need to go to a psychiatrist. Where is our psychiatrist? He's currently in the GP's office. Where's our surgeon? He's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, there's another one. We're going to swap him out because our psychiatrist is actually quite tired. So we're gonna stick him, actually we'll stick him in the better staff room. And while we're at it, we'll stick him in the better staff room. Oops, the nurse and, and her, because we are going to just delete that staff room for the minute and what we'll do as well is we're also going to delete that training room for the moment now there was another squidgy now the thing is is if she heads out of this door i've got a feeling it will say that news got to the ministry even though she's only going to another part of the hospital because she steps out the door i think it'll make this game over and news will go straight to the ministry it just sort of registers i think when people leave the hospital I'm not sure she seems all right at the moment doesn't she so we're interested in sending people for cure so how many of them are ready to go for cure can we send how many of them can we send will she go to cure she won't go to oh there you go do you see that the time has gone so her being outside the building did mean that the news got to the ministry and Spalding will pop up in a minute and say news got to the ministry. So what we now will have to do is start sending them all home. What we want to do is make sure that these people are not in the hospital when the man from the ministry comes. That is imperative. Any people remaining in the hospital when the ministry turns up, we will be fined for. So we need to get them out as quickly as possible. There it is. The epidemic has reached the Ministry of Health. There it is. So we've got to try and get them all out as quickly as possible. Are they all leaving? Um, she's going as well. They shouldn't be in this part of the hospital, really. But we'll just, we'll just check. Um, he's just, he's just become contagious so we just need to make sure that it looks like they are all heading out this is why we do it on super slow-mo it really is the easiest way um, to sort of make sure that things are going in the right direction can you see they're all filtering out and it really affects our reputation doing that it really really does but what can we do do you know what I mean what can wow he's amazing get him in what can we do what can we do they all need to be out because look there he is there's the man from the ministry of health come on come on although he seems to have turned around he's coming oh he's getting out of their way look she's now contagious get her out anybody else feeling contagious that wants a, a banishing from the hospital He's such a good doctor. I'm a bit upset about it, to be honest. A bit upset about it. Um, he's a really good cleaner. So we will get him on. Clean it because it's getting dirty in here, right? It's getting dirty. Uh, and that, he's quite talented as well. well oops. Well, uh, oh my god, that's annoying. There we go. We'll split in between. What happened? What happened? The health inspector has heard rumours the institution was dealing with a bad case of third degree sideburns. However, he has not managed to find evidence to corroborate these rumours. The government have decided to award you 6,500 doubloons compensation for the damage that these lies have done. Your hospital's good name. <laughs> X. They're the sort of results we're after. <laughs> right there. Back up to normal speed. Crisis over. It's time to get our training facility in ready for um, 
for when, uh, no, I don't have people, when we have decent people to train. So we're going to put in a new training department. Now, the idea you see is that we have the two doors because trainers and tra yeah, trainers and trainees move so painfully slow. And the only time they leave uh, the training facility is uh, when um, is when is when is when they um, go to the staff room. There we go. Wow, that was really hard to get out. So we're putting the lecture chair, uh, the the lecture station near the door. We're going to try and put all these fairly near the door as well. See, so they're all training nice and close. I can't imagine we'll have more than six, but we'll put in some more. We want billions and billions of bookcases. That's what all of this space is for, because it helps with the training process. And we want lots of those. The more, the better. Look, we can get a whole another lot in. Excellent. So we'll get rid of those. Then we probably want a couple of radiators, I was saying. A couple of plants and a couple of bins. Um, oh, and should we put a skeleton in? Because sometimes he does walk up to the skeleton and says, Oh, look at this. Ah, mm, isn't this nice? So we'll do that. Um, and then we want a couple of radiators. Keep our students warm. Um, and then we've got bin. Uh that'll do that'll do what is this boldness can't cure it go away um what is this now as well heriitis can't do that either so what we're going to do is we're going to put in some radiators and plants just around this sort of area um just so that nobody's really complaining about the cold or that it's ugly or do you know what i mean because there's no there's not going to be any patients around here um so we should be fairly okay if we now look at our heating can you see there is patches here it's not it's not the best what is this heriitis can't i can't cure it so let's have a look here that part of the staff room here is really cold uh we have to sort of reload it it's a bit annoying and back here is really cold so there's nobody in there at the moment so quickly let's get a radiator just sort of standing around this area isn't it actually we'll, hopefully there will work oh no can you believe i just did that no no i must rebuild oh god okay right earthquake is imminent we can't deal with five people with jelly -itis. we can't we can't do that with an earthquake imminent we have to instantly check on these strength six i don't like it we're going to replace it Strength 10, probably going to be fine. What's this one? Strength 9, probably going to be fine. We'll get people in to repair those. Uh oh, here it comes. Please don't blow up. So, x-ray? We don't have an x-ray. So, there we go. Repair, repair, repair. Please, quickly. Everybody, everybody, please do all the repairing as quickly as humanly possible. Oh, look at this look but he is he is rubbish so he would be a terrible trainer so there's no point i could get my surgeon consultant in and train him in surgery then he would also have psychiatrist then he'd be a consultant and he could train up everybody else in those skills making all doctors really quite good at almost everything but he is such a bad doctor anyway that it would take him ages to become a consultant and it would also uh he would also be really bad it would take him forever to train up all of our others so unfortunately he's going to be no good for us he's going to be no good for us which is a real shame a real shame a bit upset about that um, but our new training facility is in and we were checking the heating over right so the staff room i'm now pleased with the heating but we need to get a radiator somewhere around here don't we look it's right next it's right next to that radiator i think we'll leave it another epidemic 
Oh my god. Well, we'll attempt to cure it. Sleeping illness. So again, we'll slow it right down. And we'll see if we can cure it. Um, we'll try. I think it might be a pharmacy one. Um, but look, he's now walking out the building. Can you see? So we're probably... I think what we might have to do... He's going to walk out the building. So we're, what we're going to have to do is send them all home again. This affects my profits, my reputation. Um, this is a real problem. Getting epidemics like this constantly. Um, oops. It is a real problem because it means I have less people in the hospital to cure. All right. She's getting a cure, so she'll be fine and she'll give us money. Yeah, I have less people in the hospital to cure. Um... Uh, this is another good thing as well about having this sort of area so close to the door that, you know if we've got if we need to have like a mass evacuation then being close to the door is a really great thing um, because you'll generally get when you have an epidemic you'll generally get it around your um your sort of a uh, consulting area uh, mostly um, you know so are we all heading home are we all heading out please say you're all heading out Oh, he's not. Go. He's heading in the wrong direction, even though Tom's head out. She's getting cured. So it, it was a pharmacy one. And I quite like the pharmacy one. Imagine if we'd managed to cure all of those people. If somebody wasn't walking out the door, this is a problem with this at the moment, isn't it? This is this is a real problem, is that they're going straight for cures through this door. Please do not litter the hospital. Which is also something I don't really want. And so maybe this is not the best layout, you know? Uh, maybe you know it I, d I don't know maybe we could block this off uh, maybe we could block this off forcing them to come round that might be a best idea because the thing is, is we want the clinics in here because of the yeah so I might block it off actually yeah I might do that um hmm what other I don't think we've got any other clinics or anything to go yet um oh my god she's become contagious get out uh, what are you doing? Where are you going? Get out! Oh my god. Come on. Leave. I can't express to you enough how important this is that you all just get out. <laughs> it's just so important. So maybe we could put the research department here. Um, I mean, it does mean that the researcher then is quite far away from the staff room. Which means the research will go a little bit slower. But I'm thinking blocking off this door will be the best thing so that epidemics just work a little bit a little bit more smoothly. Where is he? There he is. Um, yeah, that's not a bad idea, is it? Uh, let's have a think here. Because if we... If all treatment comes in here, where would the research department go that's anywhere near the staffing? It doesn't, so it might be that we would have another staff area somewhere. Because the value's not enough, right? It's probably way off. Uh, which one is our value? Yeah. So we have to buy more buildings down the line anyway. So it could be that, you know, this will be an overflow for clinics. Well, this might be where the operating theatres and stuff go. But I suppose I'm a bit low to buy this, because again, they might want to start walking across all these doors and everything. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, we could always block it off again with st the staff room and research department coming across this area. So there's no reason for people to come in here. Or I can just put benches across the door. Oh my god, that's a point. So... It does mean that people start walking the long way round. Um, but if they learn that they can't Turn actually, the patients to the front of the queue. actually come this way. Let's see how that goes. Pull her out. She's actually quite tired. If we stick her in there. Excellent. Are you are you leaving? She's not leaving. Jesus. See what happens if you don't keep your eye on it. Um 
yes, yeah, so I'm thinking we might move this clinic to over here. Or we move one of these clinics over here and use it as a blockade, maybe. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. At the moment, I'm actually more inclined to see about getting some more diagnosis equipment in, right? Um, oh my god, get out, get out lady, get out. You know, what if we put in more diagnostics? Like the x-ray, we're very, very keen. But the x-ray takes up a lot of space, right? That's a small x-ray as well. Um, and the thing is, we might want another psychiatrist at some point. So I'm thinking, if we make this waiting area... Oh god, it might be that... We might not have another psychiatrist, um, just emergency ones. Emergency psychiatrists might be a thing. Because if we put this, do you see what I mean? How small and pokey it makes that waiting area. We don't we really don't want that. Um, so I'm thinking if we put our x-ray in here. So the patient comes in there. The doctor goes in there. Um, we want whole bunch of fire extinguishers to keep this machine as safe as possible from explosions um, the more the merrier there we go so we now have our x-ray our x-ray department um, which is absolutely excellent right so we've done everything we can now I think <laughs> The hairy itis doesn't work very well, does it? Ah! They awarded us money! Ha 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 ha! We hid it well again. Yes, please, come along, visit our hospital. It's a fine establishment. We don't do anything naughty. Uh, I can assure you, jelly itis can't do it. Send them home. Send them home. Um, so, benches, radiators. Maybe another drinks machine. Um, so I'm thinking a radiator for these waiting peeps um, and some benches for them and then we'll put a drinks machine there. What is this? An operating theatre? No. No operating theatres. Uh, new month. Who do we have? Nobody. I can't believe. What are we going to do? This is so terrible. Oh, she's not. She's not too bad. She's still not the best though, because we kind of want to get rid of Barson. She's not a terribly great nurse. Uh, I suppose what we could do, whoops, wrong button. I suppose what we, oh, God, I keep, I keep pressing the wrong button, peeps. I keep pressing the wrong button. I suppose what we could do, because she is a bit better, is we could get her and then sack her. Like that. Yeah, there we are. And who is this? Who is this in here? Good. Still a consultant. It's important that we, <laughs> that we check that. <laughs> There's always a consultant in um, the GP's office. Okay, Rocket Ronnie. Um, the Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan is on his way in. Some folk are suffering and having to stand up. Are they? Are they really? Ooh, an emergency. That's good. Three people with ruptured nodules. Oh, it's an operating theatre. Well, I can't take that. I can't take that. Um, I mean, even though I can afford probably to build... Actually, I can't afford to build an operating theatre, but it probably wouldn't take much to save up for me to do it. I don't have the staff. You know what I mean? I simply don't have the staff. There's just no point going down this road at all at the moment. We need a training programme up and running. Um, and all these sly, cunning, and subversive. Him. We want him. He's it. He's the guy we've been looking for. So, in he goes. He is a junior. And he's a psychiatrist. And he, and he was a good doctor. So, excellent. We are now going to find this, this one. This one. So, he's a surgeon. So, what he can do is he can now teach. Where are we? He can now train this guy, not only to become a consultant so he can teach psychiatry to other people, but he will also train him as a surgeon. 
and then he will become our trainer once he becomes a consultant so that all the people that he trains what the hell oh he's too, he's too tired so all the people he trains will be trained as surgeons as psychiatrists but also consultants so that they'll be top GP people as well and it means that these people will be able to go absolutely anywhere so finally our trainer is in training um, so really excited about that what we could do with uh, in the meantime is probably have another um, consultant kicking around um, you know it's, but there we are he's really tired as well let's get um, let's get him sorted out as well because he's also really tired so the queues are building up um, I saw that mouse I saw him so the queues are building up um, there's one lady that's feeling a bit more under the weather than everybody else so we'll put her to the front of the queue so we could really do with um, somebody who is a consultant just to sort of look after <laughs> things um, while the other guy is in training at least the consultant that we do have is the psychiatrist one that's the better way to have it to have the surgeon the surgeon's no good to us in his extra activity you know he might as well be teaching it but this guy he can do our psychiatry cues as well as our gp cues and right now we need him in our gp cues so we're going to keep an eye on him and wait for his tired tiredness level to to go up and up and up she's she's starting to die so we're now going to she should be at the front she's no longer at the front of the queue or she is there we go so we really need to keep an eye on this lady diagnosis process she's got gut rot okay so she's coming straight here there's already a nurse there we go excellent well done we couldn't let him completely rest which is a bit of a shame it is a bit of a shame um hopefully in the new year then we will get um somebody to help him out because he will also have to be picked up and shoved here when the queue gets too big but for now he can work he can work on this as our year draws to a close but i think it's been a fairly successful one we've managed to finally figure out who our trainer is going to be and he's in training and he's going to be fab he's going to do all the things that i want him to do lots of people say oh you want one that does research as well no i don't my research is fine my researcher over time will become a consultant and get better at his job and it i say it's just research at least the research is happening and he is a good doctor and i don't need all my other doctors around the hospital being researchers i simply don't need it um it's nice because it looks good <laughs> but they're also request a lot more money and they never use the research part of their training never you know you always have the same one or two trainers uh, um researchers in the research department they never come out they never go and do other things oh where did he go there must be a hole like right here so the upping our research department though making it more glorious is on my to-do list and like a lot of other things that we need to be doing so we killed two people this year which i'm a bit gutted about two people not the best we've had the most uh we've cured the most people but only just but then again jane also killed 10 people she she killed quite a lot right um we've had the most visitors and we're doing well we're doing well um so this will be our machines <laughs> what's this one poor money they always think that our money is rubbish but we did get money for most impeccable standards lovely thank you very much the nobel prize for impressing vips everyone who visited your hospital in the last year was highly complimentary about it excellent gave us reputation money uh, for building the best reputation in the last year our cures to death ratio was outstanding so at least we got half that money you know uh, for not killing anybody and our hospital is very clean which gave us a massive reputation boost we're going to go into the third year at croaking hospital um, in good standing thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button as long as you are here why not check out one of my delectable videos available feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa see you next time peeps